what's up guys nothingwire.com and we are the launch of the Nokia XL now this was released along with the Nokia X a couple of months ago but then in India it only came in today um, that is uh, Nokia has officially announced it today it's not gonna be available right away even the price is not announced although uh, we suspect it would be around 12,000 Indian rupees mark now this is an upgrade of the X or you can say a more powerful um, Nokia device that supports Android ecosystem um, the device overall looks much like your Lumia Asha whatever you can call now, Nokia X was much like the Asha um, you know 500 series but then this one looks more like Lumia kind of an upgraded a more premium look than the Nokia X it also has a larger screen you can see it's a 5 inch screen much bigger than the Nokia X and I suspect it has any cover though, but it's all plastic the phone the screen is also incredibly glossy so you would see a lot of fingerprint smudges on the front as well as on the back I also see um, some marks there the back is kind of um, has a rubber coating so it won't slip off in a hurry but because of this rubber coating the scratches are really really visible here so you have the 5 inch screen and then on top you have the 2 MP front camera fixed focus you have a sensors the Nokia brand mark and then your um, signature only back button that came with the Asha series it goes one step back if you tap it once if you long press it will take you to the app menu or the, uh, the app menu basically and then on this side you have pretty much nothing below you have the micro USB 2.0 port on the right side you have the power button and the volume rocker and then on top you have the 3.5 mm jack behind you have the 5 MP autofocus camera uh, accompanied by an LED flash you have your Nokia branding and then your speaker grill now there is nothing on the uh, speaker grill that will enhance or that will let the sound come out even when you keep the device on a flat surface so I suspect that the sounds gonna be obstructed because uh, generally you see kind of an elevated frame here you know grill uh, a part of the grill would be elevated here so that the whenever you keep the device on a flat surface that elevated grill lets the uh, music come out otherwise because this is totally flat I think the uh, music would be obstructed of course we'll have to check that out when this device comes to our left for full review yeah let's see so again like the Asha and like uh, some of the Nokia devices you have the very rugged and strong back cover which completely covers the front and center housing. Do you see the back cover this rubber part actually extends to the sides here. We have the black color of course it comes in four colors you have cyan you have orange you have this black and there's also a green color I suspect. Mm -hmm. so let's go and check out. The display on OS bit so they see the lock screen and typically swipe from right or left and you'll go to that the app menu and that's the fast lane and so you have the typical fast lane now you can control what you want to see or do not want to see on the fast lane you can let's say long press this and you go to settings and then you can see manage notifications and you can also manage single app notifications yeah. and that's the main app dog you see now it looks kind of more and more like Lumia they're nicely floated there of course do not look like the live tiles where each of the tiles are separate they also are much evolved than uh, our earlier Asha phones so it's kind of a fusion and it looks good more colorful everything and in fact you can actually go ahead and change the background of the icon here somewhere if I can see it. now see there's a color palette there so you can just tap on that and it keeps on changing so probably you can change the background of uh, the icon depending on what color of phone you have so that's cool if you let's say have blue one you can have it blue or you can have it orange or whatever you can also you know Kind of make it bigger and stuff yeah make it smaller you can drag it around here and there cool yeah so you can also create new folders and all so all that's cool 
you also have widgets. The device is slightly laggy as you can see but then not very alarming. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the apps. Oh and by the way you just drag it again and you come to the search screen. A pick from Apple I suppose. So you have your dialer which is pretty big thanks to the 5 inch screen. Then you have your messaging. See and let's show you the keyboard pretty fast to actually yeah pretty fast so nothing wired and it's fast and efficient gives you good feedback you can also go to settings and yeah. let's see yeah, it also supports gesture but I uh, I don't think it supports different key uh, keyboard layouts then you have the internet and we did an HTML5 test and scores quite good. It's more than average, although not spectacular. 463 out of 555. And you see it, it lags. And then it renders the web pages very nicely. That it's a mobile optimized web page where it supports very nicely. Smooth enough. Smooth enough. And let's see if it supports. Oops, let's see if it supports pinching zoom. Certainly does not look like supports here. And there you see it does not actually support pinching zoom. Yeah. So by default definitely it's not enabled if it's in the settings somewhere that we'll have to see you see there's no setting so pinching zoom or even otherwise zoom even otherwise it's not supported let's check out nothing wired to see if it supports in some other sites yeah. so let's see if it supports here now we'll go to a article here let's see if it supports zoom as it does not support pinching zoom and as well as tapping zoom I've already shown you the settings you can share your web pages and all that's the browser would have liked it to support zoom actually but then maybe Nokia thought that 5 inch screen is big enough for you to read the text so you have your email accounts um, yeah Twitter and everything and that the 5 MP camera it does not have any lenses that came with the uh, Lumia you have the flash settings here you see on or off only you have this many white balance and then your time-lapse interval then your video quality you have you see all this kind of I think they would have done uh, you know better writing the resolution here because this is really really confusing even for me now you probably would not know you know many people probably would not know what a QCIF resolution even I don't know actually then you have save location audio encoder and power mode and stuff yeah so i'm in the video mode you have uh, still panorama and video mode so that's still mode and that's how you zoom yeah take some time acquiring the focus lot of time actually and then let's check out the video and you cannot click still while recording videos the video start and finishes relatively fast and you can go to your gallery here there you see and you can of course tap and you can do some editings with the galleries you see you can frame it cross process and documentary and vignetting whatnot let's say I put this vignette I can also control my vignetting effect the vignetting is making the sides darker you see that's vignetting I can go fill light and highlights and stuff I can I can all also go and put some colors here two tone dual black and white sepia make it let's say black and white then you can also crop and red eye 
and if your a picture is kind of banned then you can straighten it cancel changes yes you can also share it via all these means and you can also share it directly via Bluetooth yeah. so that's about the camera then you have your mix radio your a music player mm -hmm. all these things I cannot play any music for you here because of the YouTube copyright issue but then I'm gonna show you the music performance in our lab when this device come for full review mm -hmm. it without sound to kind of show you how the single song interface looks there you see beautiful and on a black background it almost looks like a Lumia beautiful you have this mm -hmm. equalizer you see you can switch on the equalizer you can also increase the bass boost and 3d effect and whatnot and you can select normal and all these presets FX booster should sound good so that's the music then you have FM radio let's check out the setting once you have data counter all this and then you have dual sim this supports dual sim by the way yeah and then sound and vibration your display and then storage there is only about a point only about 1 GB is available right now and then you also have you see yeah her storage oh by the way it has 768 MB RAM and houses a 2000 mAh battery so back up and reset and you can also add your accounts these many accounts your developer options let's check out that as well yeah. you can use USB debugging you can also use GPU let's see GPU rendering but this part I think comes from the Android and then about you see that the model RM1030 and Nokia Excel dual sim now although it's an Android support handset it does not actually have Android in OS form it has its own platform you can load um, Android apps here but not all apps there there are many a majority of apps this device will support and you can find those apps in the store and other places you can also sideload APK files then they have these games now, I'm not sure if these games will come preloaded this Astros and all they look like um, they've installed it afterwards but they might come so you, you might want to have a look on them but Sony live and I don't think will come uh, this messenger certainly won't come preloaded I guess relatively smooth without fuss I love like the fast lane now it's really really smooth came a long way from the Asha so relatively smooth uh, but then lags at times specifically when you're multitasking long pressing on the home screen does not do anything the search is powered by Bing yeah so that's about it so that's our Nokia XL and the price is not announced yet it will be available in India very soon I think we'll know the price in two weeks and we'll definitely let you know thank you